Hi there, how are you doing today? My name is Ruben Gambalandi and I am the CEO and co-founder of WebSmith Lectures. In this segment, we will deal with the disorders affecting hemostasis. But before we go into the business of the day, we will look at the normal physiological processes that takes place during hemostasis. In the first segment of this section, we will deal with the definition of hemostasis. We will deal with the stages of hemostasis and we will deal with the limitation of hemostasis. And in the second uh, segment of this section, we will deal with the disorders affecting hemostasis. We are going to deal with the platelet disorders, we are going to deal with the coagulation disorders, and then also we are going to deal with the disseminated intravascular coagulation. So jump on the bandwagon as we embark on this journey. Thank you very much. Welcome back. So before we proceed, I would like to tell you that we have uh, a link to a PowerPoint presentation, which we will strongly advise that you download the presentation and follow it, even as we proceed uh, with, the, with the understanding of the concept involved here. So now we are going to let, take a good look at the uh, definition of hemostasis. So take a good look at this picture. This is John Doe. John Doe can be anybody. John Doe can be any person. John Doe is an unknown person. So John Doe was in the kitchen. He was cutting onions. But unfortunately for John Doe, he has a cut on his hand. The knife just uh, mistakenly went through his fingers. And suddenly we have what uh, blood started gushing out. We have the extravascularization of blood. There's a movement of blood from the intracellular compartment to the extracellular what compartment. So right now, what we want to do is we want to know how the body responds to this uh, type of situation. How does the body handle this type of what situation, guys? But we all know that in this type of situation, the body has one uh, mechanism in which it gives a response to such type of what situation. And that mechanism is called what? Hemiostasis, guys hemiostasis. So what is hemiostasis? Technically, you can define hemiostasis as a complex of physiological processes which marks the response of the body to insult brought about by alteration in the normal continuity of the blood vessels. So what hemiostasis is based on the interaction of certain substances which are found in the body. And but uh, those substances we have the first one we have what the plasma factors, we have the thrombocyte or platelet, and the uh, the the, uh, the blood vessels. The interaction of these three factors together they help to bring about what hemostasis. So uh, what are the stages of hemostasis? Hemostasis has three major stage. The first stage is vessel spasm. The second stage is what is platelet plug formation and the third stage is what the coagulation casket. So uh, but for the purpose of this particular uh, le uh, uh, lesson we would like to introduce a fourth stage of hemostasis which is called what the clot dissolution stage or the fibrinolytic what stage because the introduction of this particular concept will go a long way because there are some diseases which are, are occur because of the inability of the body to dissolve what the claw that has already been formed. So the, what uh, let's 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 look at the first stage of hemostasis, guys. The first stage, which is vessel spasm. As we all know, the normal structure of uh, the blood vessels, the blood vessels has the what? The tonica intima, the tonica media, and the adventitia uh, layer of what? The blood vessels. But within the between, uh, uh, in the tonica in, in the tonica uh, intima, going having a deeper look at it, you get to understand that what there are some what endothelial cells which are found in the tonica what me the in the tonica are uh, in the tonica intima of the blood vessels those endothelial cells they line the whole uh, lumen of what the tonica 
intima of the blood vessels. And you can appreciate the very good how uh, the, the, the smooth muscles has been depict, depicted in this particular picture. These are actually a very good, uh, beautiful picture depicting what the, 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 the smooth muscles that, that are found in the tonical media of the blood vessels, guys. Now, okay, now, how does uh, spasm occur? Or how do how does the body brings about what vessel constriction due to alteration in the normal continuity of the blood vessels? First, there are two major ways in which the body uh, res responds to bring about that vessel what constriction. The first one is what the sending of information from the endothelial cells that are found in the tonical intima. The endothelial cells that are found in the tonical intima upon any form of what are uh, insult to the normal continuity of the vessels they relate information to the smooth muscles and the smooth muscles on the other hand responds by what constricting by contracting and when the smooth muscle contract what happens we experience what vasoconstriction but the second method or the second way in which communication is established to bring about vasoconstriction is through what the nerve innervation of the smooth muscles because once there is enough uh, uh once there is what uh, an insult against what the normal continuity of the blood vessels information are related to the smooth muscles to bring about what their contraction and once that information is being responded by a uh, contraction of the smooth muscles we have what vessel spasm just like you can see depicted in the picture okay now talking about what are uh, the, the 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 second stage of what the uh hemostasis which is platelet plug formation just as the name depicts guys we in this particular stage the platelet come together to form a plug but it's not as easy as it sounds actually it's a complex of what are physiological reactions that comes into play before this plug are formed okay talking about let's 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 have a just a good uh, 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 insight into what platelet really are what are platelet so we all know that in the bone marrow there are some cells which are called megakaryocytes and when this uh, megakaryocyte, the, uh, the, 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 the fragment, the, 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 the fragmentation of this megakaryocyte, and when the, uh, the fragment of the megakaryocyte is being released into the systemic circulation, we call those cells what platelet. But unfortunately for this platelet, they are what annucleated cells. They don't have any nucleus within them. But within their cytoplasm, there are what, some granules which are found in the cytoplasm of the platelet. And we call them what? cytoplasmic what granules the cytoplasmic granules contains very very important substances that play a key role in hemostasis guys all right now this place late they, they, they usually last for what eight to nine days a maximum of nine days guys that is why uh the body the body generally would try to replace what uh the the the, the, the worn out platelet or the destroyed platelet by what cranking up uh, uh more platelet from what the megakaryocyte which are found in the bone marrow but there is there is a protein that regulate what the the production of this particular what, uh, platelet what we call this protein that protein is called thrombopoietin guys this thrombopoietin has a very very important role in the proliferation of what the megakaryocyte now it is from this particular megakaryocyte that what the platelet are formed from okay now going deeply into what the concept of what the platelet plug are formation you get to understand that what in the platelet plug formation it has also what three major stages there are three stages that makes up this particular what are uh, complex uh, uh, processes the first one is the platelet activation. The second one is the platelet what, adhesion. And the third one is the coming together of platelet what, aggregation, guys. All right, now, uh, talking about the activation of what the platelet, guys. We all know that what, like we said earlier, 
that within the cytoplasm of the platelet, we have some cytoplasmic granules. And like I said earlier, those cytoplasmic granules contain very important substances that are very pivotal to, the, uh, to, the, to hemostasis because they play a very key role in hemostasis. What are those substances? We have what? The ADP, adenosine diphosphate. We have serotonin, guys. We have ser uh, platelet-derived growth factors. Or you can, you can call that what? PRDGF. And also, the fourth uh, important uh, substance which are found in the, what, the cytoplasm of the platelet is called the platelet factor number four, guys. Let's have a short break. <laughs> 